It's time for opening day at Hunter Wright Stadium in the Appalachian League established in 1911. The visiting Greenville Flyboys and the home Kingsport Axemen on the mound. For the Kingsport Axemen is the right-handed pitcher, number 18, Ryan Murphy, out of James Madison University. Leading off for the Greenville Flyboys is the shortstop, Alex Diaz. Diaz out of Cloud County Community College. As opening day is now underway. First pitch, a ground ball to second, fielded cleanly by Casillas. The throw to first in time. One pitch, one out. Like Logan Sutton, first pitch is in for a strike as they throw to second is not in time and it goes wide. White steals second and he is going to get to third in time. Mays White steals second and advances to third on a throwing error by the catcher. Canyon Brown. So once again, Kingsport knocking on the door with a runner in scoring position on third base with just one out. White takes the lead off third. Here's the pitch from Yetter. It's a light drive and a base hit into right field from Nate Anderson. White scores and Anderson is on first base with a single. That's the first run of the game and the first run of the season for the Kingsport Axemen. Yetter in the stretch. Anderson, the runner on first base. Ian Riley at the plate looking for his first base hit of the season. 0-2 from Yetter. Riley watches a ball going outside. There's a grasshopper right in front of me. Such a majestic insect. I'd appreciate it if he did not come into the booth, though. He's making his way very slowly. Here's the 1-2, swing and a miss. Riley out on strikes. He's 0-3 for 3 with a strikeout now. And here comes Houston Coon. Jacob's the 0-2. The runners go, and the ball is in the dirt but it doesn't go past the catcher, Kalen Brown. And it's a one-two count. Mays White stays in there. A single will now score two if it's hit well into the outfield. And here's the one-two. White lights it into center field or a base hit. One run scores, it's Henry. And the other one coming around, McGahan. Mays White, a two-out, two-strike, two-RBI single. Lined into center field. Mays White has scored a run and has driven in the other two. He's two for three with two RBIs. Jacobs, the 3 1. Casillas skies it into right field and that will bounce in for a base hit. Mays White rounding third and he will score. It's a two out RBI single for Casillas. Miscommunication out on the right side of the field for Greenville, and it's 4 nothing, Kingsport Axman. O'Brien checks the runner on second, delivers the 2-2 pitch, swung on in a high chopper to short, fielded by Mays White, throw to first is not in time, and it's unable to be scooped up by first baseman, and the throw home is not in time. Greenville has taken the lead. Mays White with an errant throw Morones in a jam, the 2-2 pitch. Swung on, lined into left field, it's a base hit. One run scores, another one coming around. And it is a one run game at Hunter Wright Stadium. So one ball away from the game time run. Tarbert is set. Henry Hunter the batter. Here's the pitch. Hunter takes ball four low. And Casillas will jog home and score the game-tying run. We are all knotted up at eight apiece at Hunter Wright Stadium in Kingsport. Bases loaded, two outs, Tarbert on the mound, Fernandez at the plate, tie game. Here's the payoff pitch. Ball four in the dirt. Anderson comes home to score. Fernandez takes first base. And that is a five-run inning now for the Axemen, they have taken a 9-8 to eight lead. 
What a comeback on opening day for Kingsport. 1-1, one, one, nobody out. Runner on first, and the runner goes. Here's the throw down, and he is hosed by McGahan. What a play. Shay McGahan throws out Will Taylor, trying to steal second base. One out now in the top of the ninth at a 2-1 count. That was a high pitch from O'Brien. But McGahan hoses Taylor. Runner on first is Mays White. Runner on second is Jake Perry. Here's the first pitch to Casillas. He lays down a bunt, and it's perfect out of the third base line. The play is made at third, and the throw to first is not in time, and the run's going to score. Sliding it at home is Jake Perry, and Kingsport has won it. In the bottom half of the ninth inning, the players storm the field. It is over. The game-winning run from Jake Perry, batted in by Casillas. And Kingsport is unbeaten with an opening day walk-off victory. Kingsport led 4-0 at one point, entering the seventh inning. Then Greenville scored two, then they scored six in the eighth. Kingsport followed up with five runs scored in the bottom of the eighth. Then Greenville scored one in the ninth, and Kingsport scores the final and game-winning run in the ninth inning. What a roller coaster of a game, but I bet Kingsport is glad to be on the right end of this one. Final score, Kingsport 10, Greenville 9.